Hi, this is Christopher Clark, the Town Administrator here in the Town of Harwich. I've been bringing different updates on activities within the town. Uh, today's topic is we have uh, undertaken a relocation and a reorganization of some of our town hall uh, departments. In an effort to be more customer service friendly, we have decided that on the second floor of town hall, we will utilize our community development departments uh, to have uh, folks that have interest in making changes to their building or a modification to their home. It would have an opportunity for one-stop shopping. Currently, uh, upstairs on the second floor of Town Hall, you can see all those various departments and they all act kind of independently. What this reorganization is doing is to merge those departments where the secretarial staff and the folks that are the customer service representatives for the town will be cross-trained. So you would go to one window to find your information for what you need and then be guided or triaged out to the applicable area that you would want to obtain your service from the town. And when I mean community development, that's anything that you have relative to a new business in town or if you want to put a shed up in your yard or anything of that nature that you have uh, land use uh, related issues. One of the things that this reorganization has also uh, brought to our attention is an opportunity to try to consolidate and have in one location some of our social services agencies. And as many, of the many in the community re realize and know, that 100 Oak Street currently acts as our community center. And we house several of our social services agencies there now. <clears throat> we have the Council on Aging. We have the Recreation Department. We have Channel 18, the folks that are uh, doing the, um, the filming today. And we have also decided to introduce the Veterans Services uh, Agency down to uh, the 100 Oak Street facility. We think that the Veterans Agent being located in this, in this community services building uh, makes a little bit more sense. We do have our Council on Aging and some of our nursing assets are located in this building. So if someone wants to uh, go into the building for veteran services now, they would also potentially have the opportunity to engage in other activities uh, to realize and see what our Council on Aging uh, staff is up to, uh, have access to our Shine Counselor to see, to make sure there's a coordination of medical benefits uh, for vets that, that have that need. So I think it gives us an opportunity to offer additional services to the vets uh, above and beyond being in town hall here where it's more limited to um, paying a tax bill. So I think having the, the veterans agent move down to the community services or the community building at uh, 100 Oak Street makes a lot more sense. In order to try to facilitate this move and, and to make it as seamless as possible, we have retained the phone number of the uh, veterans agent and his phone number uh, will be 508-430-7510 and his current office hours will remain the same. So I would encourage any vets that are interested in finding out about what services our veterans agent uh, offers to please call that number and speak with Mr. Remillard to see what benefits they are eligible for. And I hope one of the things that we have selected, um, the 100 Oak Street facility, it's a uh, facility that has good handicapped access, and it is a facility that is multi-use. Multi uh, a lot of recreation folks go in there, so I believe it's a center that's welcome, welcoming to all ages. So I would encourage the vets to uh, please call that number, the 508-430-7510 to get a, uh, information on what services they offer and to also look at the, uh, the new uh, office layout for Mr. Remillard. In addition to my comments in regards to bringing social services agencies together at 100 uh, Oak Street, we have also retained and keep in the same facility on Main Street, the Albro House, we have our youth services counselor there 
And that is an important service. Uh, we seek to try to make renovations to the Albro House to see if we can expand that into a wellness center and offer additional services for the residents of Harwich. At this point, it is a uh, historic home that is in need of some renovation and some updating. So before any consideration would be to expand these services, uh, we would have to complete those renovations. At this point, though, I do wish to emphasize that we do have youth counseling services available in the Albro House, which is located right next to Town Hall here in the town of Harwich. So if you do have needs for on the youth end of issues, uh, you're more than welcome to contact our youth services counselor as well. Well, I believe that is the uh, update for this, uh, for this session. Uh, obviously, uh, town government is a, uh, a process of incremental change, and hopefully we continue to make positive incremental change as we move forward. And I wish to uh, appreciate the folks for tuning in and, and listening to these messages. And as always, uh, if you would, please don't hesitate to contact the folks at Channel 18 if there's any specific topics that you would like to have covered. Uh, we are more than happy to attempt to, uh, to cover those. Thank you very much.